thank you all for your patience. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the Newark Public Library's Black History Celebration, The Art and Beauty of Black Power, a Century of Cinema, Dance, and Music. Today we celebrate Black dance, history, and rebellion. We welcome Newark's own Savion Glover, dancer, teacher, visionary, and Wayne Winborn, executive director of the Institute for Jazz Studies, Rutgers University in Newark. My name is Dale Colston, and I'm the principal librarian at the James Brown African American Room of the Newark Public Library in Newark, New Jersey. On behalf of our director, Jocelyn Bowling Dixon, and the Board of Trustees President, Dr. Lauren Wells, we thank you all for joining us this afternoon. We'd like to thank the PNC Foundation for their generous support of our Black History celebration. I would like to acknowledge the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Lenni Lenape First Nations on which we are learning, laboring, and organizing today. We also recognize the devastation and the continued legacy of the transatlantic slave trade, which contributed to present day systemic racism and oppression. Our space at the library, the James Brown African American Room, was named in honor of the late James Library Brown, a librarian, poet, activist, and influencer who was instrumental in making sure that the library seek and maintain books and resources and present programs examining and celebrating the African American experience. Mr. Brown was especially committed to urging Newark youth to pursue education and to understand the importance of the library in their academic growth. This year, our exhibit, Black Power, 19th Century, Newark's First African-American Rebellion and related programs reflect the research and artistry of my colleague, Noelle Lorraine Williams. Black power is one of the most controversial terms in the 20th century. Newark's 1960s Black Power Movement and the 1967 Rebellion dominate discussions about African-American activism in Newark, and for good reason. It was a piercing hot wake-up call against the racism and violence that stalked Black lives. However, many of the powerful ideas about saving Black lives that are evident in Black liberation struggles in the 1960s were also evident in the 1800s. Please visit the virtual exhibit Black Power to find out more about Newark's historic revolutionaries. Thank you to the New Jersey Historical Commission for their sponsorship in the exhibit. Go to the library's homepage, www.mpl.org, which will give you more information about all of our Black history celebrations and the Black Power exhibit. And you can view programs that you may have missed. And I'd like to introduce a friend of the libraries here. Fiani Shakur is a writer, interdisciplinary artist, and arts advocate residing in Newark, New Jersey. She currently serves as arts and cultural affairs director for the city of Newark. She has held appointments as visiting lecturer at Rutgers University Newark Department of Art, Culture, and Media, and artist advisory council for member for Newark Arts. She is a longtime library supporter and advocate, and we are pleased to have her with us today. Please join me in welcoming Fiamme Shakur. Greetings. Thank you so much, Dale. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am so proud to welcome Wayne Winborn and Savion Glover to today's program, The Art and Beauty of Black Power, Cinema, Dance, and Music. This discussion today between Mr. Winborn and Mr. Glover is titled Black Dance, History, and Rebellion. As Dale indicated earlier, this series is in conjunction with the Newark Public Library's online multimedia virtual exhibition, Black Power, 19th Century, Newark's First African-American Rebellion. The City of Newark's Creative Catalyst Fund is a proud sponsor of two of the short films in the exhibition, featuring not only a Newark-based director, but also Newark artists, Newark designers, and it's filmed on site downtown. The talk today embodies the current status of Newark arts by featuring a homegrown genius, Newark native, Savion Glover, 
whose family roots, as Wayne will explore in the discussion, span back to the early 1900s. Wayne Winborn is executive director of the Institute of Jazz Studies and assistant professor in arts, culture, and media department at Rutgers University, Newark. He is a frequent speaker and presenter and also writer on issues related to jazz, art and culture, democracy, civic engagement, intergroup relations, nonprofit management and race and, inter and has numerous publications that he's also featured in. He holds degrees from Stanford and NYU. Tap dancer, choreographer and actor Savion Glover is the epitome of a living legend. Born in 1973 in Newark, he has graced the stage since childhood, setting a record as the youngest person ever to receive a scholarship in the Newark Community School of the Arts. Before he was a teenager, Savion made his mark starring in the leading role in the Broadway musical, The Tap Dance Kid. Savion Glover developed his own dancing style he dubbed Freestyle Hardcore. The Tony award-winning dancer eventually worked with dancing greats Gregory Hines and Sammy Davis Jr. Among his credits are starring roles in major motion pictures like Jelly's Last Jam, a role for which he made history as the youngest ever recipient of a National Endowment for the Arts grant. As a choreographer, Glover's work has helped maintain tap dancing as an art form in the modern dance world. His starring role in the musical, Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk, which he also choreographed, debuted on Broadway in 1996. The musical chronicles events in African-American history and bought Savion a Tony for best choreographer. Mr. Glover has made known to the younger generation with an re reoccurring re appearances on Sesame Street. He also holds the credit as the live captured dancing motion behind Mumble the Penguin in the, in the film Happy Feet. Savion also served as co-choreographer in that film. Mr. Gov Glover's quick steps and amazing rhythms continue to influence the lives of young people. His production company tours schools across the country, spreading enthusiasm for tap dancing and cementing his place in history. I'm very happy to join you all as special guests for today's program. Happy to be here. Thank you, Thank greeting. You. Thank you, Fayemi. Welcome, Savion. How are you today? I'm well. Thank you, Wayne. We're really uh, terribly excited to have you here. Obviously, those of us who live in Newark or who work in Newark uh, more than claim you. I I'm a fairly recent addition to Newark and I claim you, brother. In a couple of weeks, people are gonna think we grew up together and that would make me. <laughs> but we do that because of the, the incredible mark you've made and continue to make on the art world. And this bridge that you, whether you realize it or not, have provided between both the present and the future, but also the past of this great art form. We're going to talk a little bit about, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about Newark, but I'm going to ask Noelle, if she will, to play us a clip that's going to take you back a ways. I don't know if this is the earliest footage of you dancing, but because you're a teenager at this point and pretty established, but we're going to take a look at this and I want you to talk a little bit about who you were at this point and, and how you'd gotten uh, uh, to be this person at around age 15 or 16. Okay, and you want me to speak as it's playing? No, 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 afterwards, we're gonna take oh, a look at it, yeah. Okay. But, but if you listen, no, this is, this is uh, we're, we're live. So if you feel moved to say something, by all means, jump in, we'll keep your, your mic will be on and you can talk over it. Okay. Noelle? Oh gosh. <laughs> That's called swag before swag, young <laughs> That's right. That's called swag before swag. <laughs> no, well, you're gonna to need to uh, unmute, I believe, or turn your. Hang on, everyone, just one second. We're gonna make a technical change. She's gonna cue that back up. Okay. Okay, can you guys hear it? Hear me now? 
We can hear you, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> mm. This is the first time. By this time, by this time, I'm going to be talking to you with Mary Lou. I'm going to be talking to you with Mary Lou. Yeah, and I wrote that rhyme. That's Sid, Sid Glover and Jamisha Sibri, obviously. Um, these are, these were and are, remain two of the, I don't know what most to do, but I would say, you know, two of the great female uh, attempts at the dance. They were, they were, they were fabulous when we were young. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the reason why they they are there because they are who they are. Mm. Now, at this point, you're 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 15, almost 16 at this point, right? Um, don't get this wrong in it, but maybe. <laughs> and this is for Jerry Lewis's muscular dystrophy campaign. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, was this your first appearance on uh, national television? No, not at all. Black and blue. That that was. I'm 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 sort of seasoned by this time. I had done tap dance kid. You were understudy, and then you took over the lead role, right? And uh, you were 11 or so at that point. Yeah, I was I was about I was about 10 and a half, 11 when I stepped into the role for tap dance kid. Um, I then that's when I started to do the Jerry Lewis telethons. Oh, at that point, okay. Yeah, okay. I was I was on there with Martine Allard from oh. tap dance kid and we were i was like you know holding her holding on to her waist as i was trying to sing <laughs> <laughs> so now back up because it's such an interesting story and it's going to tie family in you were actually on your way to being a drummer you were a drummer and had done very well i think as, as uh Fayemi mentioned you were uh, you had gone to the newark community school would you tell us a little bit about that but you were a drummer when you when you got mesmerized by tap dance right Yes, um, living in Newark, right there on, um, by this time we were living on Livingston Street, from Rose Terrace to Livingston Street. Um, for those of you who know, Livingston Street and then Urban Turner Boulevard. Urban Turner Boulevard, at, at, the, at the end of Avon Avenue, you know, you go over that hill and it's like, you head towards Hayes Circle. So we would walk down, you know, walk down that hill to Newark Community School of the Arts. At the time it was on um, right there, Clinton Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to call it Hay Circle, Clinton Avenue, um, and yeah, that used to, that used to be the walk every day. Uh, I mean, whenever whenever we went, I think we went twice a week or something like that. Um, I was going there, you know, since I can remember. Since I can remember, I mean, after Queen of Angels or during during my time at Queen of Angels, I was going to New Community School of the Arts, mm -hmm. um, going there until um, you know my mother, who's Yvette Glover, who's singer, she was doing various things around. Um, so one thing led to another. She's performing with Rudy Stevenson in mm. a group. Um, that group was Tina Fabrique and great Aunt Aileen, Aileen Graham. I think Brenda, Aunt Brenda was there. Brenda Mitchell there from Newark. All my aunties, Alberta, Hunter, all these people mm -hmm. uh, doing the, this is the Renaissance. They doing their thing. Um, so they had a, 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 a um, Rudy Stevenson's guitarist. He's a great guitarist. Uh, 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 they had a group. I went to one of the rehearsals. Rudy said, hey, I have three sons. They should get together. The three sons are musicians. Next thing you know, we got together. We formed a group, Three Plus. It's three brothers from Teaneck and myself. I'm the plus. And we start, um, we start jamming around, doing street performances for the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic Antics or, or on, on uh, you know, back before it was called the West Indian Day Parade on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. We used to perform out there and we started 
just traveling all around performing, playing the drums. I was in the band. Um, and then it wasn't until later that we played at, um, you know, Heinz and Hatchet Dance School where right. I was playing and it was there where I saw tap dancing, what I now to, so I look at, the, I, I saw this dance perf being performed live and then it just goes from there. That my first introduction to it was Lon Chaney, mm. Chuck Green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of the greats, Lon Chaney, right? Yeah, the, the great Lon Chaney, not, not to be confused with the actor. With the actor, not the actor. Well, not right. the actor. Right, right, right. And Savion, now this is deep because you're saying this casually, like, you know, you guys were gigging. I don't know how old the Stevenson brothers were, but you were six at the time, right? You're no, six. I'm six, I'm seven. I'm <laughs> six, seven, eight years old. I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> a, gig, a gig and musician. But your, your mom took you to the, it was a fundraiser for a dancer whose name I've forgotten, but. Um, yeah, um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a benefit for Benny Corey. Benny Corey, that's right. Benny yeah, Corey, who's also from, they were from Newark. Yeah, um, uh, it was a benefit for Benny Corey. He had he had an accident, and that night, man, I'm I'm, as I think about it now, I'm sure there were even more high rollers there mm -hmm. that, I, that I didn't know. If if if, I mean, there were people there like Allison Williams at the time who was oh. like not Allison Williams yet. You know what I mean? There were yeah. people like, you know, Brooke Shields who wasn't. Brooke Shields yet at the time, you know, so, yeah. so this environment, you know, Maurice Gregory Hines was there, who knows what was in that, like, the environment, I was, mm. I was oblivious at the time to where, what I was, or where, mm. where mm. I was, what I was being um, taught mm. or acknowledged as, but my mom, my mama. Yeah, man, and your mom, so for, I should say, your mommy, Vet Glover, first thing, I believe it was a year ago this month that she passed and you lost her. I think it was. Yeah, I, 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 I sort of, uh, I'm uns, unsubscribed to certain numbers and dates nowadays, but it's. I like that. I like that. I hear you. But your mom was, um, uh, and your family are stalwarts in the city of Newark. Your mom was a very accomplished singer um, yeah. and worked and performed with a lot of gospel groups, but as well, a lot of jazz groups. You had, you were in this cultural milieu. There you go. There you go. The Alvin Darling Ensemble, everybody. That's a, that's a, um, for, for those of you under a certain age, there's his mother, Yvette Glover. For, for those of you under a certain age, that's called a long playing record. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> my, or as my nieces like to call it, oh, Uncle Wayne, it's it's a big CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> right. And you're, so your family has these deep roots. Your great grandfather um, uh, was a Negro League baseball player, among other things, and a manager for many years. Talk a little bit about you, you and you, 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 you talked about the aunties that you had and uncles and this, this sort of cultural milieu that you yeah. grew up in. How, how has the family in Newark sort of shaped you into the artist and the man that you are? Well, I, I now understand it, obviously. I, I, I see what it, I see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I see what happened and, and I see the influences. I see the people. I see my grandmother. I see my mother. I see the absence of my father. Mm. I see the presence of men like yourself in my community. I see the presence of my uncles who were Muslim. I see the presence of my mother's dedication to religion. Mm. I see the presence of my grandmother never saying Jesus, but only saying God. Mm. I see the presence of like music and, and not my not people putting things in my face and saying you have to have this, but just the environment that I was in. It was every day. It, 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 it was it was amazing. Every now that I can I can say like I'm thankful that I am in this experience and to be whoever you guys think I am. <laughs> um, but it, it, you know, it starts way before me. It's like, like you said, my, as far as I know, my great, now my great grandfather, um, Vic Lundy, mm -hmm. Newark Eagles, mm -hmm. um, you know, like you said, manager and who knows whatever that came with. And with that time, at the same time, my grandmother, Madam Anna Lundy Lewis, 
Mm. I mean, whoever, whoever believes in anything that has to do with anything, and if you're from the tri-state area, and if you don't know the Madam Anna Lundy Lewis, then that's unfortunate. But that was my, that's my grandmother. And my mother, you know, my, 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 these people were eclectic kind of mm. people. My, you know, my, my grandmother did this, they were out. We were, we, we, they were out. And so I think I got caught up in the outness. Mm, mm -hmm. I got a little, I got, I got maybe the outness. My mother was in the outness, but she couldn't grasp the outness of it. So she maintained her voice inside of the mm -hmm. structure. Mm -hmm. I think by the time it then got to me, I was I was there maybe where my grandmother left off. Where, where mm -hmm, she, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. now I'm on the I maybe I was on the out trail. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I am able to um, express myself the way I am and allow people to hear my voice through my dance. So my dance, mm. everything that you us, everything that you see is everything that I am, everything that is structured, the environment that I embody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I walk with it, I talk with it, I am it. Mm -hmm. Now, I mm -hmm. am many different personalities and I deserve to act on whichever personality I want to mm -hmm, at the time. Mm -hmm. I have that affordability, I, 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 I can, I have, so many and much to pull from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. internally, just mm -hmm. from my family, just from mm -hmm. my mother, my grandmother, right. my great grandmother. Just I'm not talking about cousin Albert Lewis and and, and people just <laughs> right. you know, their right. influence. You know what I mean? Um, right. I'm not right. talking about my homies on Rose Terrace. I mean, from mm -hmm. stolen car thieves to doctors. Right, right, right. You know, right. They're, they're all. You know, I can say my my 60s was the 80s. Right. <laughs> For those who experienced the 60s, whoa, man, y'all ain't got nothing on my 80s. <laughs> <laughs> in Newark. Right, right. There's yeah. something, there was something in the air, right? There's yeah. a, I lo, a man, I love this so much. And I think that I, I could make the argument that the in and the out need one another. Your mom, I could argue to some degree, created the conditions for you to harken back and yeah. be as out an artist, a human being as you needed to be to express yourself. And, and by the way, we are the beneficiaries of it. We benefit from your expressing yourself, your full humanity through dance, you know, and, and, and all of the community that you bring along with you because that's, that's uh, you've made many marks. But one of the things that I'm so fascinated and uh, fascinated with and 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 awed by is how you have drawn upon all this history and some people talk about history weighing them down not you you've taken it and made it relevant and shaped it brought your contemporary brought a hip-hop sensibility and and enlightens all of us man i mean were, were you was it just the vibe you know hanging with your boys and also hanging with the elders or did you consciously sit down and say i'm going to be an alchemist and i'm going to make this new thing and it's going to be relevant. I, I, have, I am in it, man. Like, mm. it, uh, just to speak on, yeah, I think my mother, she did, and I'm going to use these words, she she foundationed the outness. Mm. Mm -hmm. She made it necessary for me to identify with the outness. Huh. If you can, if you can, if that makes any sense. Yeah. But, um, um, I, I, man, I'm just, it's not until now it's not until now, it's not until now that I am looking up at that thing we call the sun and mm. say, okay, that thing is there again. It's mm. consistent. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm, it's, I believe it. I, I, believe, I believe my life. I believe that I am here to do what I am doing. I believe that mm. I, am, I am Savion. I believe that I am that. Mm -hmm. And I, I have no, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. I only yeah. have control of what I think is my plan. Right. Now, the overall right. plan, I'm happy to be a part of it. I can't even tell you how thankful and 
grateful I am. Mm. And, you know, I must be getting old because I get sentimental. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's just, it's overwhelming to, to not overwhelming in its pressure or stress, but just overwhelming in its thought mm. for me to know that I am operating like this in this experience with, with, with no um, control really of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can control what I can control, but I can't control what I can't control. Mm -hmm, I understand mm -hmm. what that means for me and to live in that as me mm. in this uncontrolled improvisational thing it's uh, it's it's right on man i i'm just like i'm i'm supposed to be shining off a championship ring like with the knicks right. two. Right. at least two if it was right. it was gonna be you then i mean it's gonna be mark jackson then you right that's right yeah, i was next i was next i was there now i don't know where this this whole thing about this and you and i and all this library ah man i don't hey <laughs> No, but that's real, brother. I love it. No, no, no. That's that's very real. And man, listen, you, what you're dropping so much heavy stuff, man. On the one hand, you're talking about this fusion of stuff. You're talking about being in it, and now, and by the way, you are. You, you so young. I think I remember being. You, you haven't turned fifty yet, have you? I can. You can't even vote or drive a car yet, boy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even deserve it. I don't. Deserve any of but, but, but see, but. But man, I, I, I love that because what, what you're talking about, I think it's so important for people to hear. We get so, on, on both sides, people who are trying to be creators and those of us who have the, the joy of being alongside artists such as, such as yourself and, and to bask in what you've created and for you, to, for you to create things that help us understand our experience and make sense of this crazy world, right? You're saying so many things. You're talking about the past and the present and the future. You've got such a humility and, and this word gratitude, man, this is so important right now in these days, man. There's so many folks who are really out there struggling. Those of us who halfway have a little something, who haven't missed a meal, who are fortunate uh, in my instance to not miss a paycheck, we have to be grateful because our, our, our times, our connection to other human, to other humans demands that of us. And that's why I think I, everything you're saying, man, is just so, so, so beautiful, you know? And listen, I got to throw another thing in too. You, 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 the way you're framed, I don't know if you can see yourself on, on uh, Facebook and for those of you who are watching, over your left shoulder is this beautiful picture of all of these other, other yeah. folks. And, and, and tell us a little bit about who that is because I'm, I'm telling you, I feel their vibe, you know, coming, coming through the screen. Those are my guys. Those, yeah. those are, I mean, you know what, Wayne, at, at this point, man, I don't believe nothing. <laughs> At, at, at this point in my existence, it's like my mother was FBI for Jesus. <laughs> that's what that's what I that's what I realize now. My mother was on FBI, yo, for Jesus, right? So I'm like, oh shoot, that was my mom's thing, right? As I, as I experienced like the stories of the world and the immaculates and the. Da -da 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 -da. I say, oh man, like I know G. I got my G. Oh, I know, I know the Jesus they talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you mean the miracle worker, the yes, one, right. the one who worked the miracle? That woman right there. <laughs> so these guys, these guys are my. They are my. They are my everything. They are my. They are my teachers. I got Gregory Hines here. I got him in the. Mm. Sam Anselm, Steve Condon, mm. Arthur Duncan, Jimmy Slot, Pat Rico, Bunny Briggs, Harold Nicholas, and Sammy Davis Jr. Mm. And the and the, the woman is is Jersey's own Susan Douglas as well. Susan, yeah, 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 yeah. These are my guys, and um, I wherever I can for as long as I can, I will wear their names. I mean. And there's nothing, I mean, it's my mama and these guys. Yeah. <laughs> like my son exists. My son is here. My child is here. Right. That, that's, he's not even, 
<laughs> you know, that's 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 his own thing. We, we have a, but as far as the reason, like the people, why I'm doing, like I mean, my my mama gave birth to me, and then these guys are my teachers. Mm, mm-hmm. I don't know what what else to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I don't know mm-hmm. what else to honor. I don't know how else to act. I don't know what else to do aside from how you say represent for them. Mm, what, mm-hmm. I do, what I do is for them. Mm-hmm, My mm-hmm. The, the, the success that you and audience might appreciate, uh, I don't know that it's for show business. My dedication, my shows, my existence is so that somebody will know about Jimmy Sly. Mm, mm-hmm, somebody mm. will know about Jersey's own George Hillman. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Somebody will know about Lon Chaney, Buster mm-hmm. Black, Jimmy Sly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. why I'm here. I'm here so that when I finish writing this book of the hoofer this year, it's gonna, it's, it's, it will be recognized as a holy book. Mm. It will be recognized as a, as a, as a, as a sacred book. Um, and also allowing one or an intellectual to s- sort of um, hear a perspective that should allow them to grasp a more deeper understanding of what this dance is. Mm-hmm. And how the dance has been, um, you know, influential in my life, not just in my approach to performing, but in one's life. How can this thing be religion? Mm-hmm. How can you find belief? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. how can you maintain, you know, integral fact right. that supports your belief? Right. It's right. like, man, I, I have it in these guys. Right, right, right. That's <laughs> fantastic. Man. This is but, my religion, and I want to spread the the gospel. That's it. That's it. And you you do it. You you're doing it now. But you listen. Let's let just for folks who don't know. Let's be concrete about it. You have started a school to not just do what everybody. There are lots of places, Broadway dance, a lot of places that teach folks the mechanics of dance, and you're doing that too, but you're teaching these young people a lot more. You, you, I, I believe, for the two, the two quotes I've, I've read that I love from you, art saves lives, hmm. and I think it was something around, you're not just teaching them how to dance, but why they dance, where it fits in. That's that's profound, man. And the space that you're doing it in is also important. Tell, tell us a little bit about your school and where it is and, and, and your approach to it, because it fits absolutely into what you're just saying. Yeah. Well, the school is, I don't know, you know the story, but it's the it's the backside of the first newer community school of the arts. Yeah. Yeah. So just to give you the whole story, I'm I'm living in New York, blah, 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 blah. I have a friend. I hate to say his name because he doesn't need any credit. He does nobody needs to know it's Maurice Chestnut. But anyway, he calls me one day and he says, um, hey, the, the the building is for sale. And I was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, I went there, I saw it. I saw that it may have been too much to get the first unit and the two in the back. So I said, hey, boom, we'll just get the, we'll just get the two in the back. Just came full circle. I I now own the building that I grew up learning in. And those same rooms are, are just, you know, the, the nostalgia is all there. So boom, we do that. I established that in, in 2006, I believe. Um, um, uh, so I did it to maintain, obviously, the name, the Hoofers. All right. So my, it, it's, it's a lot. I don't know if we have I don't know if we have, that, but I got my eye on the time. You don't worry don't about it. Good. <laughs> okay. Just stop me when, when it's time. So, okay, so the hoofers, the name, the, the title, hoofer, blah, blah, blah. So, like, like, we're, like we were speaking off air, you, you and myself, Noel and, 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 and Dale Coleman, we were having an off air conversation just about certain things and maintaining its sacredness and what happens when you celebrate and blah, 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 blah. Well, my experience is like, it's like we do these things. So the hoofer 
it, it's like we do these things. It's like the black fist. It's like we do these things. We fight, we fight, we fight, we fight. And then the fight doesn't, be, the fight doesn't become over. It, it just becomes uh, uh, less intimidating. Now, everybody, it's not about the fight anymore. It's about a fad. So it's like, oh, everybody could do black power. It doesn't. It's so, but what are we doing with it? Oh, now, oh, it doesn't matter. No, we're just doing it now. Mm. But the fight is over. Mm. So with this word hoofer, it became like Nike. Everybody hoofer, 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 hoofer. But nobody, it, it's like, wait, that's not, the hoofers <laughs> is a, was a specific group of, of, of men. Right. It was a thing. It, was, it wasn't like, Right now, today, it's a style of dance. You can go and open your dictionary and it says hoofer. It says some kind of tap dancer or some bogus thing like that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how it happens in the world. Mm -hmm. Things are gonna become less intimidating. Mm -hmm. And so our fight is gonna, you know, they're gonna, it's just, you know, it's not gonna be a fight anymore. Mm -hmm. It's expected. Mm -hmm. So, boom, I did this thing, the Hoofers Club, just to maintain the name of the Hoofers, the maintain mm -hmm. the Hoofers. When you mention hoofers, you should, it should not be, oh, I'm a hoofer, I'm a hoofer, I'm a hoofer. No, you're not a hoofer. That's like saying, I'm a beetle. I'm right. a beetle. No, you're not a beetle just because you know all the songs and you can sing the lyrics and you go to the right. concert. And you the <laughs> right. I'm right. sorry, you're not a beetle. The beetle, right. this guy, that other man, the other one in the book. Mm. With tap dancing or with this dance and with a lot of things that we do, you can call it jazz or free sounds, whatever. They, mm. they if they don't know what it is, they got to label it something and then say, oh, we are a part of that. We can do it, too. Yes. Oh, oh, I don't like it. So we recreate the Hoofers Club. The school becomes this, for me, a holy ground. Terrible for business. <laughs> <laughs> business work right there on the the most the fabulous the most fabulous fabulously decorated block in Newark mm, um, mm. Brunswick Street for those of you who don't know um you can see your local pharmacist there you can see your local philosopher the street doctor comes and visits every time it's a really beautiful block mm. <laughs> um <laughs> um so we're there boom I opened the school I start off with about three, maybe four, I start off with about maybe four or five adult students, Kathy Monticelli being the first one to show up at the door. Um, and then maybe, I, when we started the children's thing, maybe three or four children. We had other things going on in the building. My, my brother, partner, friend, confidant, everything, um, Devad Sanders, um, we were there together. So he came in, and, the other side became like this thing. So the Hoopers Club, the the dance education was not, it, it, it seems like this holistic approach, my approach to wanting to teach people how to express themselves mm. is not good for tap dance business. <laughs> my school, <laughs> my school never had like, a two o'clock class where you got children running in and taking a beginner's class. Right. And right. No, it was like, you can come there, you can sit in the space and just engulf <laughs> the space. You can come for a history class at a certain time and you can come for a dance lesson. But the dance classes, you didn't even tap dance until six months in. Mm. Because you, you I, again, my goal is to establish um, or help the dancer or the one who is expressing themselves know why they want to express themselves and then how to express that. Because by the time it gets to the word tap dance and me, it's a fault, it's a miscommunication, it's a, we're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I can't, I can't, I realize, oh, what I do you guys are, you can continue to call it tap dancing, just like what John Coltrane did, or you call it jazz, or what Arnett Coleman did, and they call it jazz, or what, you know, what these people do, what Robbie Shankar does, and he called it. It's not that, folks. It's not that. So I'm not tap dancing. I'm, I'm, I'm here to, what did Eddie Murphy say? I denounce my throne. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we have, I want to, I want right. to, I want to get to, I want to get to us, whoever us think us is, <laughs> I want us to understand the difference between and 
Ben. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm the first one. Right. I'm not, I'm a part of that first thing. Right. By the time it gets to America, or by the time it gets to this understanding, it's called tap dancing. Right, right, right. But we, we're, 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 we're not interested, we are no longer interested in subscribing to that title. Yes, yeah. So tap dance is something that the kids are doing now. It's real popular. It has been popular. Yeah. On the other hand, this dance that I do, the dance that we all do, there is just the dance. Right. So trying to teach that, now I'm making my way back to the school, trying to teach that um, kind of philosophy in this world, it's, it's, again, it's bad for business. So as we move, we've been, I've been in there, what is it? Maybe 10, over, it's over 10 years now. Mm. Um, but I think we, I'm physically moving past the space. Mm. I'm, moving past the space uh, because uh, it's, again, it's, it's, it's a lot of space and my teachings, I would, I would, have, to, I would have to turn into another person, mm. a person that I'm not ready to be in order to um, deliver on how Savion Glover should deliver on a school in Newark. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I've, we've, 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 we've pulled back from all activity at the building. The energy is still around. I will maintain my teaching, but I want to, at this point, be able to go into facilities. Let's take like the Newark Public Library. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to partner with the Newark Public Library and, you know, create a, a sect where I am teaching dance the way that I want to teach dance um, and it's lucrative and it's fun and it's business. Everybody's doing the business versus uh, trying to teach this dance and do business. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I, I'm a terrible business guy anyway. So this is just <laughs> adding, adding stuff. To the room with the so again, the, the, the teaching, the teaching has been there. I think the space, definitely serves, it continues to serve this purpose. Um, uh, but, the, but the teaching is just, again, it's just out. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's, not, it's not warranted for kids who want to tap dance. Mm, mm -hmm, this is, a, mm -hmm. sacred, this is a, a holistic approach to expressing yourself. And, and I, I need a doctor's office and stethoscope for this. Right, <laughs> right. Well, you're speaking to a deeper thing, man. And, and, and it's such a parallel to what other artists, there are a lot of folks struggling with this whole, how do we create art and therefore a deeper humanity uh, in the context of commerce? Commerce messes a lot of stuff up. Yeah. If not everything, but commerce messes it up. And then there's also this whole thing. You're talking about your methodology. Certainly in the jazz world, you 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 believe me, you have some some fellow travelers. Stefan Harris, who's recently joined us, the faculty at Rutgers Newark, talks about this all the time. A lot of the cats talk about, yes, you know, the training of the music has moved into the academy and the, everybody can play, 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 play. But why are they playing? Why is there so little impactful? meaningful art being produced from these folks who can get up and they can get around the instrument. They know all this stuff. And, and that, that notion of an apprentice model almost where you are taught by masters. And, and when you're taught by masters, it's not just this, it's this, you know, and, and, and you talk about the dance as a, as a sacred space. I, I was at a performance of Indian classical music in the past year a lot. My girlfriend, I went with her family, her incredible mother, um, uh, who's also a polymath, like your mother, just did so much great stuff and raised these incredible kids. And man, I noticed when the dancers went up to the stage, Savion, bruh, they kissed the floor before the end. It took it yeah. sacred space. It's sacred. Yeah. That's, that, has a, that had a profound impact on me, man, and helped me understand some things and helped me understand what I, what I was experiencing when I saw the dance. So, so you're right. You're in the pocket, and a bunch of us are trying to figure out how to do it too. Because uh, I, I love the it's bad for business. All the stuff you're trying to do makes us better people, makes our world better, but it's bad for business. It's bad so. for business. It's like living, living, living is bad for business. <laughs> <laughs> living, living is a, is a 
is a business boy. You got, you know. <laughs> man, it's, um, it's, um, it's, it's, an, it's important. It's, an, it's important. It's important to me. Mm. It's important to me. And I feel, I, I feel, I feel like, Wayne, I feel like I would be a criminal. Mm. I feel like I can go take all of the kids' money. Mm. I can go in there and teach them tap routines and tap routines and tap routines. I can take the money. I can take right. your money. Right. I can use the money. Right. <laughs> I will, I, I will, I, I listen. <laughs> I am not afraid of money. <laughs> right. What it is, is that, again, I'm my mother, it's like, I can't, I don't want to operate that way. I feel like mm. there's, I feel like I can make money I feel like there's an avenue for me where I can go get money. I can make, money. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, when it comes mm -hmm. to, you know, teaching or sharing or not even teaching is sharing what I know might work for someone who wants to express themselves. I, I didn't pay for that. Yeah. That's a, that's a cost that bill you'll be paying for the, uh, for uh, there's not enough money. Right. There's not enough. <laughs> right. To, to, that's right. Because it's not a it's not a class. That's it's right. Study. It's an That's exactly class. right. That's right. It's oh. something. No, it's you're reaching for something different. You're reaching for something different, something deeper, man. And uh, we we are getting a little pressed for time. I don't know if we're going to try and take questions, but I'm going I'm going to take this opportunity, um, because uh, I'm going to take this opportunity and throw throw a little editorial in. Listen, we we I want you to do all this stuff, and we got to figure out a way to support you and to support artists in doing this because we still want you to do some stuff on Broadway. I don't know if and I know enough people didn't see Shuffle Along, but mm. I happened to see it, mm. and I was man, it was mind blowing, and I'm still mm. convinced. If Hamilton had opened a year earlier or a year later, you'd you'd have twenty seven Tonys right now. Oh. I mean, that, that, the cast, the, the the story, by the way, is so deep, right? The cast was unreal good, and your choreography, man, I, I, and everybody was good. Like the the person who was two rows back in the chorus, you watch that person, and they're killing it, man. We, do you have projects like that that's going to be available for our, for those of us who are mass consumers? And how close is your book? A question has come up. How close is your book to being finished and published? So do you have projects coming up that we're going to see that you can tell us about? Yes, I do. And at the same time, you know, when we talk about business, in my business, you know, they have assigned these papers that say you can't say things and right, all of right, right, right. I don't know what it means because, right. you know. Don't say anything, though. I don't want to get you in trouble. In case well, you I don't know. I don't know what this means. So I'm, I'm just going to speak freely. I, it's just you and I here, right? There's no. Right. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, no I, I do have, I do have a, 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 a couple of things um, in the works. I, my, my own thing is there is no uh, completion date mm. Mm. Um, because I realize I'm, 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 I'm going, I have to, I have to do it. So I have to establish certain, um, how you say, footage, my feet. I have to get certain groundwork going on because this story um, and it's beyond the book. This is for this is for the stage and, and screen. Mm. This is for stage and screen. Um, and I mean, it's 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 basically um, the story of what this dance is. It's the story of what this dance is for mm. me. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no completion date there. No completion date there. Uh, as far as other works, yeah. I mean, you know, we have things. We just, I guess, the community is now just trying to figure out how to reboot. And how, how to get back but yeah i have things um sitting that that went on on pause for a second um but i think the main thing that i want to share about whatever i'm doing is just the 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 sort of like the the mission to establish it's like the other side now i i want i want to i want to be more involved in this other aspect of Savion Glover. Mm. Like, I, I think you, I think you, you all who are, who have witnessed, whether by fan or friend or whatever, I think you deserve to know 
how it how it works. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think you deserve to know how it works before I'm out of here. And only I can tell the story. Spike mm-hmm, can't do mm-hmm, it, Quinn mm-hmm. can't do it, Tyler can't do it. Mm-hmm, I have mm-hmm, to do it. Mm-hmm. So I have to establish the, the groundwork to do that, which I am. And mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. I know I know that the, the dance will, will will be honored and then my mama and all of us will be mm-hmm. will be celebrated and mm-hmm. and Honor. Well, you celebrate them, and and believe me, you you have she she is proud, and all of the ancestors are proud because you have done extraordinary stuff. We didn't even talk about uh, bringing the noise, bringing the funk, which was bringing just, the noise, bringing the funk. You, you 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 put the stadium lights on, brother. We were walking around in darkness, and <laughs> and you lit up the whole neighborhood, changed the whole conversation about tap, right? Recentered it right with your generation, and for those of us who are old. So that's the and I still say shuffle along is going to be it, it's going it, it's going to be impactful. That was too important a story and too great a production. The the aesthetic quality was just so high, man. It, folks are going to know about that. Um, mm-hmm. Let me take one quick second to do some housekeeping. Can I check with Noelle or something? How are we on time? Can we keep going? Or, um... Please keep going. This is Dale. Please. Okay. Before before we before before Savion realizes that you know I'm a, yeah. I can sit and talk with this brother all afternoon. I, and I want I want to just speak on something. I want to speak on that bringing the noise, bringing the funk, and the hip hop thing. Yeah. If we, if if I can, when we if we please, can. please, no, no, go ahead right now. Go ahead, please. please. Well, I, I I think I I want to say as as again. I want to say, as we continue to search and as we continue to progress, I don't, I don't think it's fair that we again subscribe to these labels that mm. they put on our progress. So we shouldn't, we should, we should let go of that Savion and hip hop connection, because Savion was Savion before he, when it was rap still. Mm, ah, okay. <laughs> Savion was, was, was doing what was being done when it was called, you know, before it was called whatever it's going to be called 30 right. years from now. So right. I don't want to be uh, trapped in this hip hop tap right. thing because right. who knows what the kids are going to call it right. tomorrow. Right, right. So right. hip hop, right. the fact that I'm, I am. It's only the it's only because I am present and hip hop was doing what it was doing. Right. Doing right, right, right. I got yeah, please. I right. wanna I'd rather be Duke L I'd rather be with Duke Duke in them before <laughs> Flavor Flav. Right. <laughs> right. Or, or, or right. not Flav, but whoever this kid, these kid, 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 whoever, little bait, whatever they are today. Yeah. <laughs> don't put me <laughs> don't put the dance in that category. We, can the one one, yeah. we, are, we are way, way much more than what that is. Hip hop is just what the kids are referring it. Hip hop ain't even what they call it now. So mm-hmm. I, that, bah, 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 bah. Mm-hmm. so it's like, you know, mm-hmm. so I just want to. This is a great, this, this is a great, it's a great and important point, man. And, and again, yeah. you're totally paralleling what, what, you know, what's happened over on the jazz side. It's the same, yeah. same exact thing. And I love your term. You, you're talking about however we progress. By the way, everything you say, I, I love it when you're really, when you're speaking, because obviously you're a physical performer, you're swinging, man. I, I'm going to go back, you know, this is recorded and they're going to, it'll be up on Facebook. We're going to have to have somebody go back and transcribe this because what you're saying is poetry and you're swinging so hard. I mean, that I hear you is swinging, man. You know? Yeah. yeah. I got the sorcerer over here. <laughs> 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 this is it this is it this is it this is it and we also have to tell people i need to do a quick commercial everyone for the newark public library this great institution uh, we, we talk about newark a lot but it is it's a special place and we know that there are other special places in the in the world in the country and we celebrate them too but we're particularly celebrating the city of newark newark public library is an important institution we partner with them a lot at rutgers they partner with we, we are a place that really does reach out to the brother and sister organizations in JPAC, WBGO, um, and hold that up hold, so we can see that. Well, speaking of the library, this is something they honored my mother with. Certificate of Appreciated Award to Yvette Glover for giving your time and talent to the Friends of the Newark Public Library's musical fundraising tribute, Newark Songbirds Jazz Through the Years, May 18, 2011. Love it, love it, love it. That's, love that's, it. that's later roots, but 
man, when I think of Newark Public Library, I think about this old pizza shop that used to be just two blocks west. And we used to hit, we used to, we, 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 you know, Saturday we would go to the museum and then to the library. <laughs> um, but, then, but after that, we would walk back home and hit that pizza spot right there on the corner. What's that, Central, the bottom of Central Avenue? Who Central knows? Central Avenue, yeah. And, uh... I think it's the parking lot of whatever the building is now. It's the parking lot, but there used to be like a, uh, what is that? Is that Central and uh, is that University you're thinking of? Central and University, or is it Orange? Are you on the Orange Orange side or Central? No, I'm, still, I'm, I'm heading towards 280, but but going going towards like North Newark. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so wait, that's Audible and the Rutgers Business School there. Oh wait, I know, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I think they may have just torn that building down. It's uh, near where the train is, where the train tracks are. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 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 and that place was right on the corner. That yeah. maybe it's even still there, but it has been. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Audible is. I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there's so much happening in in downtown Newark, and mm -hmm. and as I say, I'm I'm relatively speaking. You know, I, I have all these friends who are older. It's like, oh no, 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 Wayne, you just moved here five years ago. We, my grandmother lived here. You know, but we welcome you. But let's be clear. You know, and so <laughs> folks will talk about. Um, all of the exciting changes and they're quick to say no no this isn't a renaissance folks have been here doing great things all along the community's yeah. been surviving absolutely yeah. and there have been these stalwarts you know Clem price your mother um and and i, I have to say I, I truly love our mayor who's an artist the poet himself you know brings a different different mentality to uh this great city and again i think oh, you know his father you can't love him first you, you gotta know. love the father you gotta, he's only there because there was there, there, there was, was a mary baraka there. yeah we're talking about ross baraka the mayor of yes Mary's father and mary baraka great <laughs> great voices yeah no no yeah. it's absolutely true absolutely true so now you you how old uh, your father yourself yes and your son is a teenager how how old or do you, uh, did you my know? son thinks he's Jack Sparrow, man? He, <laughs> my son is, you know, <laughs> that's, that's that's healthy, brother. That's <laughs> my son is different. I believe again, we we are we are we are we are weaning off of the numbers and all time kinds of yeah. subscriptions that keep keep us in a cycle. But he he recently engaged in sixteen, mm. so. For the record and, and on the calendar, he would be 16 as of now. Oh, congratulations. And how, how does being a father, does it, I, I imagine, I don't have kids, I have tons of godchildren, but no kids. I imagine it, it actually, you were talking about getting old and you ain't old, you ain't close to being old. But I imagine that being a father deepens your, your understanding and your view of life and your art. Is, am I right about that? You're spot on. I, I want to blame it on just not only that, but the events, mm. the events and experience that shape whatever you are embarking on, whatever you're about to become. You know, it's now, it's now that I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Mm. That, that's where the dad, <laughs> that's, what the dad, that's, what the dad that's what the dad could do. Oh, okay. But I, I look at this, I look at this human, this child, my son, this man as a, you know, as an existence here already. So my understanding now about whatever I believe allows me to treat him without role. Mm. I don't have to be, mm -hmm. I can support him as a man in this thing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, as, a, mm -hmm. as an existence in this experience under the sun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can be the, 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 I don't know how to be dad or father. Oh, okay. That's it. That's an option <laughs> But to, 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 to be responsible for this thing until it is ready. Mm. That's another kind of, that ain't father or dad. That's another word that hasn't been established yet. So I'm into that. I'm into, mm, oh, mm. wow. Mm. I can be, this can be good. <laughs> or you know so but um, I, I love it i love i love the ex i love experiencing him um experience the experience and if the experience is to be out here living then i i want my child to live i want my child mm -hmm. to live 
um, you know, in, in peace. You know, I, I don't want him to have to, well, who knows, wh whatever, what I want for him. He's well on his way. He's smarter than I will ever be. Mm. And um, I'm happy. Mm. That's beautiful, brother. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that, that yeah. personal, that, 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 Again, it just adds so much texture to the art that we receive from you. So, so thank you. Thank you for doing this today. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you for thank being you. so, so, so a critical part of this, this community of Newark, but this larger community of humans. So let me step back and turn it over to Dale, who's come in on thank this. You. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brothers, we are coming to the as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Brother Glover. We're coming to the close and we wanted to give each of you opportunity for some um, parting remarks. And Brother Glover, what say you? Parting remarks from this session here? Yeah. My parting remarks would be, there is a truth that is and the only truth that is remains searchable. I encourage all listeners in the radius of my voice to search and search and search and search and search. And search. There is never enough of more. So do more in your search, do more in our search so that the next searchers might not have to search as deep. And I say peace. Thank you, thank you. Brother Winborn. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. And Thank thanks you. to the New Republic Library. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Savion Glover. Thank you, Brother Wayne Winborn. Uh, thank you, Fayemi Shakur, for uh, spending part of your afternoon with us. This and other uh, Black History Celebration programs are available for review. Give us a few days on this one, but you please uh, visit our webpage and you will see all of our other programs that we've had thus far. On behalf of our director, Jocelyn Bowling Dixon, Board of Trustees, President Dr. Lauren Wells, my colleague, Noel Lorraine Williams, uh, we thank you for joining us this afternoon. And thank you to the PNC Foundation for your continued support of the Black History Celebration here at the Newark Public Library in Newark, New Jersey. Thank you to my colleague, Diego Quintero, for providing technical support. And again, this is been recorded and will be available for review in a few days. And Diego, if you could share uh, your screen and we'll talk about what we have coming next. Next week, please join us for another installment of our Black History Celebration, Flaming, Gender Roles, Pop Culture, and Sacred Music in the Black Church. And we will be welcoming Reverend Dr. Lola, Alicia Lola Jones, Reverend A. Craig Dunn and Reverend Elder Kevin E. Taylor as they discuss the impact and significance of church leadership, music, membership, and how the LGBTQIA movement has shaped the Black church. So thank you again for joining us and be well. Thank you. Thank you. Peace.